y'all this is just real impromptu I'm not even supposed to be out the house like this my doctor still has not cleared me to drive but y'all know I always break rules so my ankles definitely gonna start hurting damn that's a fat girl alarm I literally put an alarm on my phone because they're giving away free chick-fil-a today between 2 and 4 o'clock Y'all know I intermittent fast, so I am starving. It is 1.30 right now, and so I am ready to eat. But anyway, I'm about to go on CVS and get this little deal. No matter how much money I make, I will always, always coupon. Yesterday, I got some All May makeup, some uh, CoverGirl makeup. I use coupons. I only spent $4.80 out of my pocket, and they gave me back a free $4 thing. So it was basically like I spent 80 cents. So I'm about to go use this $4 reward along with this $2 thing and get some free body wash now. So, and I think I'm gonna go to Walgreens and do this other moneymaker deal um, where you make $3 when you use coupons. So I'll be back. That was quick. I'm back. I did my calculations wrong, so it wasn't free. I had to pay a dollar out of pocket. So some Dove body wash, a dollar out of pocket. I would say that's a good deal, honey. Then what I always do next, if I can find my phone. Where's my phone? Oh, of course, it's on my lap. I got Fetch Rewards. No, this is not sponsored, by the way, but y'all take a picture of your receipt. And get them Fetch Rewards, baby. Them things add up. Any receipt, I be finding receipts on the ground in parking lots. See, I got 50 points for this Dove. Usually for just like basic stuff, they only give you 25 points, but they're having like a special on Dove. So I got 50 points, baby. Yes, ma'am. Then I go to Ibotta and see if they got something um, on Ibotta for me. Y'all, this is free money. So <laughs> I get paid from them all the time. Ibotta and Fetch Rewards. Boy, it's hotter than fish grease. Just did my Walgreens deal. I'm mad because I couldn't do the money maker because that digital coupon is gone already and my dumb self didn't clip it yesterday when it was available. Anyway, so I got a pack of Butterfingers, which I don't even like. I don't even know if my kids like it, but it was a good deal. So I got a pack of Butterfingers. Next laundry detergent, a Rimmel London eyeshadow palette, a thing of Scott paper towels. I mean, not paper towels, Scott toilet paper. And my total was seven dollars so as you see this cost five dollars itself the rimmel eyeshadow kit was eight dollars by itself so y'all it's so worth doing coupons then i get my receipt and i upload it to i bought it and i get my points y'all i just made it this close i wanted to show y'all a minute ago it was literally y'all see that gas station over there the line okay now y'all can see i was at the end of this chick-fil-a line and it's literally only 204 like oh my god but anyway let me see put y'all put y'all right there um they're doing free chick-fil-a chicken sandwiches Shit. free chick-fil-a chicken sandwiches from two to four if you buy a um a drink and a fry so i have enough points on my app to get either the drink for free or the fries for free so i'm hoping i can get a whole meal for like two dollars so let me keep my fingers crossed i know i can't be the only one that hates that the people at um chick-fil-a stand outside and take your order like they take your order before you even get to the menu screen yeah chick-fil-a they only sell like 10 or 15 things but i want to look at the menu and i want to look at the prices and i want to add my stuff up i know what i'm getting today but just regular days that i'm going in and there's no like special sale or whatever going on i hate that they're like okay what do you want can i look at the menu for a second i might not want a chick-fil-a chicken sandwich i might want to wrap or a salad and i might want to know how many calories are in the salad and then the different salad dressings and anyway that's just a little small rant i'm annoyed Chicken sandwich yeah. for the free sandwich, it has to be a large fry and a large drink. It's been over out of large drinks, but the discount still works. Points for the uh fries, yeah. And I, th I think you can't use any rewards for this. So, oh, so I'm gonna man, she wouldn't let me use my points. I mean, I understand because I'm getting a free sandwich, but I want to use I want to use my points. I want to try to make it as cheap as possible. 
y'all watch my vlogs y'all know that i am like super duper cheap when it comes to certain stuff and i'm looking at my email i am pissed remember i told you i miscalculated on that dove um soap and i wound up having to pay a dollar and i thought it was supposed to be completely free it was because i forgot to use one of the coupons in my email Ugh, so frustrating yes i'm mad over a dollar because i thought it was supposed to be free and now this coupon is about to expire got my four dollar meal i'm about to put over in this bank and grub oh yes shade 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 asked for two Polynesians and two Chick-fil-A sauces and they give me a zesty barbecue. Who eats this shit? No, zesty buffalo. What the hell? Y'all, I'm thinking about doing that challenge that's going all over um, YouTube about the person in front. You order what the person in front of you gets and you like have to eat it. Like, I don't eat white onions at all. I don't like I'm not a picky eater, but I like my food a certain way. So I think that would be kind of a fun challenge for me to do. But I'm so cheap that I'm just like, what if they order something that's like $12 worth of food and I only eat like one bite out of it, I'm gonna be pissed. What's y'all's favorite sauces from Chick-fil-A? Mine is the Polynesian sauce and the Chick-fil-A sauce. If I'm trying to like, watch calories which i should be but mm. but when i'm trying to like watch calories i'll get like the grilled nuggets with their barbecue sauce because i think their barbecue sauce is only like 10 calories or something mm. Mm, oh my god when you're eating in your car and you don't have anything to like any way to put your sauce on your sandwich use a french fry i scoop it out and it acts as a, like a knife or a spoon let me try this buffalo sauce Th this this shit look nasty the color of it oh this is like it's real buffalo sauce like this is for hot wings oh god it smells good though but oh bye bye I'm gonna go to um, Chick-fil-A and get a ton of these next time I make hot wings. This is just perfect hot wing sauce now. It ain't good for the french fries at all, but this is like perfect hot wing sauce. I'm gonna stick to my Chick-fil-A sauce and my Polynesian for my, for my sandwiches. There's like three cars that's pulled up on the side, everybody got their food from chick-fil-a and then pulled over to this bank to eat and people are looking at me talking to the camera hello eating and watching um queen and clarence <clears throat> what y'all y'all like them what y'all think about them i didn't really like her at first but now i like her i like her with clarence like she's getting more mature and coming into her own destination I like them I'm I just what I don't like is these ads every freaking minute minute and a half but get your money boo get them coins talking about how Queen likes to watch her walk around the house barefooted and get in bed like that and he thinks it's so nasty I am the exact same way I cannot even in the middle of the night I'm gonna put my slippers on to walk to the bathroom like I cannot walk around a house barefoot especially like we have like wooden floors like 80% of our house is wooden floors. So, you know, like dust and stuff gets there. So it gets stuck on your feet. Oh my God, that is just so funny. Are y'all like that too? Like, I think that is so nasty to have dirty feet and getting in bed throughout the day. But I'm also like that weird type of person. Well, I don't want to say I'm weird. <clears throat> but I think it's weird when people like sleep with their dog and their dog's butts like are on their sheets or on their countertop. I think that is just so disgusting to me. Like your dog licks himself it goes poop outside and little particles of pee and poop are probably stuck in their butt fur and then you let that same dog jump in your bed and then their dirty little paws have been out i don't i what do y'all y'all tell me am i crazy or y'all feel the same way i think that is so disgusting ew one eternity later 
Ooh, that Chick-fil-A was good. You know I'm a real mama. Keep the baby wipes in the purse. Gotta wipe my fingers because that Polynesian sauce be so sticky. I want to show y'all my foot. <laughs> y'all know I just had surgery on my foot eight days ago. No, it's been nine days by now. Y'all probably can't see that good, but she's bandaged up. I'm not even supposed to be driving. My doctor would kill me if he knew. Uh, I want to tell y'all a funny story from last night. I can't believe I didn't tell y'all this from the beginning. Y'all, last night, okay, me and Herb were up, laying in bed. He's editing a video. I'm just on YouTube with my AirPods in, just watching videos. And he taps me, and he's like, did you turn the alarm on? And I was like, no, I forgot to. He was like, well, I thought I just heard something. Let me cut the alarm on. So I was like, damn, really? Like, what the hell he heard? So he cuts the alarm on. We go back to doing what we're doing. Five to 10 minutes later, we hear a crash. We both jump up, you know, we both in our underwear, you know, looking crazy. We jump up and like, what the fuck is that? And it was loud. I heard it through my AirPods while I was watching YouTube so he you know so he gets the ham out and he puts his clothes on and he starts walking around the house I immediately call 911 I'm like I'm not about to wait for no shit to jump off I'm about to call the popo so they can be in route he got the hammer so I know he gonna handle whatever's going on but I need the popo to get up in here too so you know and the babies the kids were asleep you know this was around like 1 30 in the morning anyway so the police get there they start searching the premises i'm on the phone with 911 they're like oh you know your back gate was the lock broken i'm like yeah it's been broken for months and da -da -da. so um she tells me okay he's about to knock on your door so popo -po knock on the door beep boop i mean banging on it anyway so it's two of them they search the inside of the house they search you know all around the perimeter of the house they don't see nothing we search the house we don't see nothing so they get a hot call they call it a hot call so i guess some real shit is jumping off so they leave because we're like okay whatever we don't see nothing there's nobody here obviously we're fine so we arm the house again we go back upstairs and we're like but something fell like we were still kind of uneasy we're like we heard something and it was from inside the house do y'all know <laughs> do y'all know i have a um like a razor that i hang inside my shower it's like it's like sticks to the wall and you put your razor on there i look inside the shower and that is on the ground broken to a bunch of pieces yeah so the police then came out here beta and he ready to murk somebody and it was the damn razor that fell on the ground <sighs> i thought just leaving Target, and I actually did good. Usually when I come to Target, oh, this is a bad angle. Oh my God. There we go, that's better. Usually when I leave Target, I get the stuff that I came for, and then I end up with at least like $30, $40 of extra crap that I didn't even need. So I did good. I got the kids school supplies. I tell y'all, it is hot. Like this is, this, this is that uncomfortable hot. This that walk out the house, gotta walk right back in and take a shower hot. Okay, I'm sure most of y'all know who Tammy Roman is. And y'all know she lives in Houston. Like she lives between Houston and wherever they film at in I don't know where they film. <laughs> For basketball wives, Hollywood? I don't know. Anyway, um, so I just left Marshall's and I seen Tammy Roman's daughter Jazz. She was in there with a young, um, another young white guy and they had like papers in their hand and pens and she was in Marshall's. After she left out of Marshall's, she walks ne next door in the Saks Fifth Avenue outlet. But it seemed like her interaction with the manager in there, like she was trying to get them to like sign up for something. Y'all know when people go like door to door and they get you to either sign up for like pest control or like lower your cable bill or they have like lower light service. Like they go door to door to try to get you to sign up for something it seemed like that's what she was doing it's just weird that like yo mama is on like a hit hit reality show like a star she's one of the stars of a hit reality show and you're featured on the show from time to time also but yet you're going like store business to business trying to like sell stuff to me that's weird i don't know i could be reaching it might be a reach maybe she had like a petition or something and she was trying to like 
impeach Trump or like like sign uh, like a petition or something for like immigrants. I don't know, you know. But it just what she was doing like it just seemed like I don't know. It was just weird. I, let me know. Am I reaching? Yes. No. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, my neck's starting to get fat again. As soon as the doctor allows me, I am taking my butt to the gym and I'm gonna start off just walking slow and then build my way up to back how I was because literally laying around the house with literally no physical activity, all you can do is lay in bed, watch TV, play on your phone and eat. Like this shit is, is terrible. I know I've gained probably at least eight pounds probably in these past two weeks that i've been off it hasn't even been two weeks i got it done on april the hell i'm talking about some april i got it done on august the 5th and today's august the 15th so it's been 10 days and with literally no physical activity this is my first time like out the house driving around doing something about 6 30 i'm about to lay here for about like 20 30 minutes the kids are already in the tub I'm about to heat up barbecue that we have left over from yesterday, make them some dinner, and then I'm probably about to call it a night. And yeah, I'm gonna see you guys later. Good morning, beloved. Welcome to another morning of me going against my doctor's orders. <laughs> I'm actually headed to my sister's house to take her to a doctor's appointment. Ain't that crazy? No, she's not gonna wanna be on camera because she's not gonna be looking her greatest or feeling her greatest. And I got a couple of errands to run myself and then I'll be taking my butt back home and propping this leg up. found out who she was probably maybe three months ago i was like who is this girl somebody posted her. i was like who is she go to her page i'm like she got millions of followers on instagram i'm like who is this girl come to find out she from houston like where the fuck how did i not know who this girl was and i fucking love her now like her personality like we could be home girls and her music is fucking bomb like too much wrap in my hands oh. look like it's about to rain again oh packages i hate when they leave packages at your door like this because well yeah anybody can just come and get it like this is crazy my double chin really be looking bad from this angle like what the hell does it really look like that from the side Ooh. got a whole start holding it up here my kids are gone and i am free for the weekend yeah. i don't have any plans so i don't know why i'm so excited but i just know next week with school it's about to get real because I know next week starts homework. This week was like fun and games. They colored. They watched uh, videos and stuff. I just know the homework portion starts next week. And y'all know when the kids get homework, it's homework for the parents too. They be having work in third grade that I'm like, okay, I don't even remember doing this in like middle school. So pray for me. I'm about to edit a video. Probably gonna edit this video because I ain't doing shit for the rest of the day. So I really ain't got nothing else to vlog. So 